just going to ask about Anastasia. Yep. Anastasia is another spirit. Who have you heard of Anastasia? Quite a few. Okay. Anastasia is another spirit who, when I spoke with her first, she was in the fifth sphere of the spirit world on the natural love path. She actually materialized, she decided the best way to teach people on earth, and particularly in Russia, was to materialize a human form and interact with them. And then to present herself as sort of like an ideal human. She, you know, she didn't present herself necessarily as a spirit, but rather like an ideal, an ideal human. And then she thought if she had interactions with another person who had the ability and funds and power to get this message out, that there would be huge changes on earth. And to be honest with you, she's dead right. She, there, there's been huge changes, particularly in Russia, uh, from the material that she was channeled. And so, um, when I say channel, she was the medium of herself by just creating material form, which a spirit can do. And so, and, but it takes a spirit usually in a higher power, like it has to be a fourth or fifth or sixth sphere spirit or greater to do this on a consistent basis. And she also has a degree, a number of friends who are assisting her in this process. So in the books, her uncle, I think it is, or great uncle and grandfather, and that, they are actually spirits too. And even her child is a spirit who has materialized a child form just for the interaction of teaching. Now what happened a few, uh, about a year and a bit ago is we had a conversation with Anastasia about it because she really interested me in terms of what was going on. The first part of the conversation involved um, a, a, her own emotional condition. What was driving her to do these things? Because I've been the first person to realize that for, for her, that she knew of, that had realized that she wasn't a person on earth, that she was actually a spirit materializing. So that was unique, and, that, and because I was speaking about her with some other friends, that drew her to us. And so one of the mediums there said, oh, she's here now, do you want to talk to her? And I said, yeah. Um, so we chatted about, about her feelings. And uh, we chatted about quite a number of things. One of the things was the soulmate issue because she actually believed that the man on earth she was interacting with was her soulmate, even though they were separated by over 120 years or so, or 170 years or so of space in terms of living on earth. And, uh, and one of the things we talked about was that she, he wasn't her soulmate, and in fact her soulmate was standing directly behind her while we were having the discussion. And uh, she did not want to acknowledge her soulmate, uh, who was standing behind her, she could feel who it was and she'd had a very damaging interaction with him while they were on earth and uh, so she didn't want to acknowledge him and he was on the divine love path so so what happened firstly is she finished up over a period of three days she came back each day and we had conversations and eventually she caught up with her soulmate and they were together on the third day when they came back to talk during this time, she trans she got onto the divine path. Was in the seventh sphere of the spirit world, and that was the last time I had a conversation with her, which was about around about eighteen months ago. So she's certainly on the divine path, and most probably, I would say now, a celestial spirit, um, and progressing pretty well. She faces the same issue. Now, a few months ago, I was led to one of the people who she feels we I could connect with and we actually sent him some material about the Divine Love Path, which he hasn't responded to at this point. Um, so we'll see what happens. I have a strong feeling he will respond when he allows himself to get through his emotions about what we sent him. And uh, once that occurs, then I'll be able to hook up with the people on Earth who are linked to that movement. But uh, at the moment, Anastasia is going through this process, or she was at the time that I discussed with her last, going through this process of what to do about this materialization process. Because she wanted to continue teaching truth on earth, but she realized that this process wasn't harmonious with God's desires at this point in time. And so, uh, so she's wor she worked through, or was working through those issues the last time we conversed. So she wouldn't actually even now. Sorry? She and she was never on Earth, really. She just materialised a form to interact, interact with people whenever they appeared. So she, she was constantly in this transition between the fifth sphere and Earth, uh, materialising a form to interact with people on Earth, as were the other spirits involved in the story. 
And this is why you haven't seen a book for some time from LabMIN, because it, it, there's no more information to give. And, and the problem that he's facing at the moment is whether to construct some of his own information or not in order to, in order to continue the uh, series. Um, he's having deep arguments with the other man that we've met about that issue. Um, so, yeah. So, so the interaction of those two people at the moment, and that's why when you you were there at his presentation, and you could feel his doubts about the communication about Vladimir. So all that's happening there again is that people on Earth get hold of something, run with it, and uh, and then and then if the source, the medium, if the spirit themselves changes their condition, what does the person on Earth do? Well, a lot of times they're very drawn into continuing constructing their own information uh, in order to perpetuate the income stream and so forth. Mm -hmm. She has, and that was, that was a lot of her emotion she needed to work through. She spent the three days I was talking about crying most of them. Uh, she, she spent a lot of time in grief about the effect she's had on his life. And also a lot of time in grief about how he's still got a lot of anger within him and she felt that now she's in this new condition, she didn't know how to assist him. So she is very, very concerned about how to assist Vladimir. Um, and this is a problem that all of these spirits on the natural love path who interact with humans on Earth eventually experience because they've been teaching untruths on Earth or, or a, let's call it a subset of the truth on Earth. When they realise the real truth, they then go through these emotions of realising they need to undo some of the teachings that they've taught. And it becomes very difficult because the people on Earth have become so engrossed by them and so um, you know, engrossed in actually perpetuating them that it's very, very difficult for them to convince them to actually change. And so there's a lot of grief that those spirits experience. And she, she's on Earth, in Earth time, which is a long time, by the way, in the spirit world, she was crying for three days about that, that one issue. Uh, 